Gareth Batty is an extraordinary bloke, uh, and uh, he, you know he doesn't like anybody. You know what he's like. He, every interview is always well, nothing to do with me. It's down to but it's everything to do with Gareth Batty. That is all. Has been thrashed out towards the boundary, and there it is. The 21st County Championship title. I don't think he had this on his radar whatsoever. I don't think at being in charge of the first team as a head coach wasn't on his radar. Then, of course, Richard Johnson, who'd done a brilliant job here, he goes to Middlesex. Vikram had to take that job at the IPA. He had to, had to take that job. So all of a sudden, where'd you go? And who stood, stood there? It's the guy you always go to, Gareth Batty. This year especially, we've had a lot of changes, you know, with Vikram Solanke going off, Richard Johnson also leaving to go to Middlesex. Uh, massive credit must be given to Gareth Batty, uh, the way he has stepped in as interim head coach. Bats has done a wonderful job, um, you know, he's a very passionate guy, um, he's also very calm in situations. Uh, there's a number of things he brings to the group. I think, importantly, his relationships with the players is second to none. I mean, a guy who's played for however many years with the club who knows the change room, knows the dynamics of the club off the field and I think working those relationships and knowing how to talk to players and get the best out of players has really helped the whole squad this year. Bats has been great with it, he's so accommodating in terms of he knows what it's like playing an international series um, and he knows how mentally taxing it can be so he makes sure that, that you come in, you get what you need but they're not going to make you do extra training or you don't necessarily have to be in the whole time as long as you sort of rock up fresh for the game and that's all he can ask for so I think that the relationships and the communication to allow those things to happen uh, have meant that everyone when you are sort of fit and available to play you're 100% here and you're also following it the whole time because that's when you we get bonds with the coaches like that you, you want success for everybody. Bats' energy is quite infectious um, I think anyone who sees him operate day to day or on the morning of a county championship game um, he's running around everywhere he's given that energy that you know when you're in amongst it and playing it's quite difficult come day three that you know you've got that same energy whereas Bat somehow is managing to do that and, and has it um, so that's a bit that's a really big thing um, I wanted us to continue the hard work that Vikram brought in and, and, and insisted on um, that is something that the mass uh, of the group just do on a daily basis um, and I also wanted us to put a little bit of uh, panache in our performance and a bit of freedom for that little bit of um, extra skill. And I think with the hard work and allowing that, you create those match-winning, team-winning performances that we've seen this year. Without the hard work, you can't have the, the extra skill. With the, with the extra skill, you've got to have the hard work. Uh, when it's not going our way, we go out and work. And you gain all the, the confidence you require on the tra training field because we work hard and we get it done properly which then you go out there knowing you can trust your skill set. Then actually, you're playing the, the good bit of the game, it's you matching up against your opposite number, because often, yes it's a team sport, but often it's, it's one against one. Um, so you being covered off with your skill set and being comfortable with your skill set, I think allows you to play the game and play the game as you want to play it. If we get it right on the training field, it gives us every opportunity to do it out there. But in terms of a head coach role, He's worked so hard. He's always the first one out there in the morning. I think his shoulder, I'm not sure, it'll take him six months to recover from the amount of balls he's thrown. I think it's worth remembering when he came into the job and you know he didn't get a full pre-season. Vic Graham had started all of that and he just picked it up and took it on. He brought in Asim Mahmood and Jim Troughton, which I think was an absolute genius. And the other staff we brought in, Asim Mahmood, brilliant. Jim Troughton, outstanding. So it's been a really good environment, a challenging environment, an environment where people are allowed to express their opinions, whether again they're young or old. Um, I hope that we have good people here, we encourage people to do things in the correct manner. So they are the reason why um, we're out there because everybody works so hard. I'm not saying you can't work harder because you can, you can always work harder, but uh, I think we've worked very, very well this year. Uh, lots of good coaches, very good coaches, some of the world's best um, have been around uh, and you glean the bits that uh, you feel are authentic to you and the things that um, hopefully help to get the best out of the individuals that represent the club at the time when they're out there. 
Uh, I make mistakes and I'm not scared of making mistakes, but uh, the reflection and trying to move forward, I think is the biggest strength of any coach because um, if you think you've cracked it, you're in the wrong business. As a, as, a, as a player, he was very aggressive and that was part of his persona. As a coach, he is very cool, very calm, very collected. And as we know with Gareth, he's incredibly loyal to, to the players that he's got in his dressing room. I, I don't think there's any job that Gareth couldn't do at this place. You know, I, I fully expect 30 years time to see him out there on the heavy roller, probably as the, the head groundsman, do you know what I mean? And, and he loves Surrey, as, as I was told it was the best six months job interview that you could ever have. Oh.